2 Corinthians 1 7 reads, Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comforts. We've all been there. We have been disappointed and we failed. Graduating students who look forward to walking on the stage and experience senior nights or senior proms are not able to do so because of COVID-19. Many have lost their jobs and are anxious on how to provide for their family's daily needs. Sometimes disappointment can be more devastating than tragedy because it requires you to have invested in the outcome first. But the Bible tells us that we should rejoice in our suffering. There is only one thing we can do, hope. Sometimes disappointment can't be overcome, only endured. In moments like that, it's important to remember that we have hope on our side. Hope in Christ's love, hope for better days to come, the hope to maybe someday even try again. So when the storms of life come your way, don't let yourself be troubled. Instead, pick yourself up and remember with God, there will always be hope. Let us read from Psalms 27 verses one to five. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I fear? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break against me, even then, I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Let us worship our Lord in singing.
Romans 5, 2, 6 says, Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings. Now that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Savior 
the assurance of God's hand upon us as we walk through our earthly lives. We also get to have a foretaste of glory divine, the confidence that there is something coming, that God has prepared a place for us after this life has passed. We are blessedly assured that we will either see him appear at his second coming or meet with him when he calls us home. How can we keep from singing when we consider all he has done for us and what it will mean to meet him face to face?
assurance that we will walk through this life with you by our side. That even through our disappointments and failures, you will lift us up and comfort us. Let us be reminded that with you there is hope. I thank you that because of your Son, I have the hope of heaven and eternity with you forever. I long for the day when all things will be restored to its rightful place, where there will be no more disappointments and sorrow. Help us, Father, to have an eternal perspective. Help us to see our disappointments in light of what Jesus purchased for us at the cross. Help us to seize those disappointments as opportunities to draw closer to you and not away from you. Help us to learn from them. Help them shape us more and more into the image of your Son. Help us to see Jesus in them and to see his love and grace for us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.